there, Richard from No Pants Profits here, and I am on board the MS Mayfair sailing on the Nile River right now. And you can see uh, this is actually, looks kind of like this. I don't have a mirror to show you, but these are river boats literally sailing for Niles and Niles and Niles along the Nile River. And the deck outside, it's much too hot because it's like 100 degrees out here. So there's a bartender here. His name is Osama. And what they've got is, you know, they charge a lot of money on board this ship. I mean, a lot considerably uh, for American spirits. But they have a nice selection of spirits from Egypt. So on the Nile, we're kind of all racing for a lock. And I said to my buddy, Osama, I said, let's try a lot of the Egyptian spirits on board. So what we're going to do is we're going to in real time, we're going to try six different Egyptian spirits. I'm going to give you my feelings on those six different Egyptian spirits. And these are all made in Egypt, even though I really question how tequila can be made in Egypt because I thought it had to be made in a special part of Mexico. But hey, look, they've got tequila. Let's set up this taste test right now. Uh, we've got, let's, let me let me flip around. There's Osama there. So we're going to start a little bit. Of, you can pour. You can pour. I was going to explain. I've got my water to uh, fizzy water to cleanse every time. And then I've got this little friend right here. He's called Mr. Breath. Oh God, I'm already, uh, already slipping. This is Mr. Breathalyzer. And just to show you how Mr. Breathalyzer works, I have had a beer or two. So in having a beer or two, uh, okay, it is calculating. Uh, I was like 0.01 or 0.03 or 0.04 kind of all over the place. The idea is I'm going to do this up low 0.01. That's nothing. Big boy like me having some beers. Uh, so Osama's going to got, so let's see what we've got. We've got a, we'll go over it and then we'll start. We've got a tequila, right? That's a, a reposado. And then we've got a rum called Aloha. That's like for tiki drinks, right? Is that what you make a Mai Tai with? Is that? Mai Tai, yeah. That's what, and then we've got ID vodka. Black, Black Rhino, Rhino whiskey. premium whiskey. We've got Gen, Butler's Gin. And, and <laughs> so Osama don't know, but you know the best way to drink Uzo? Seriously, Uzo, I'm not, Uzo? you drink it out of a toilet. So they make, they make in, uh, if you go anywhere in Greece, mm -hmm. they actually make Uzo and they make it in the back. They make it in the bathroom because it's like moonshine. You know, you know moonshine, right? They make it like moonshine. Uh, so let's go ahead. And let's start with number one. Let's uh, let's try some tequila. Tequila. So we're gonna be doing one shot of each. Uh, I'm wow. gonna come back to you, um, just to to quote the time. It is uh, 5:22 p.m. or 11:22 a.m. Uh, in Miami, and we've got shot number one, which is tequila. You know the song tequila? You know that song? They go da 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 da. Tequila. Da 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 -da 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 -da. No, you only say tequila once. Tequila. The whole song goes, okay. So this is tequila. You should probably do a tequila shot. Um, so this is made in Egypt, right? Yeah. And it is a Molvado gold, and there's also a white, but I don't want to kill myself. We're just going six drinks. <laughs> you know what? You don't drink, you said, right? No. That's some of the smoothest tequila. tequila. That's like... Usually tequila burns and it's like not nice, but uh, Mol Molva, Malvado, Malvado Gold Malvado. is some of the smoothest tequila. Now I want to move on to the next drink. Um, I'm going to, he's, I'm going to have him pour in a second, but I'm going to get some. Uh, why do you use the bubbly water? Is it clears your palate? If, if you use normal water, it can mess with your palate? All right, I'm clean. Now this is for tiki drinks, right? Yeah. So this is the, and that's from uh, Bolanachi, right? And that is, uh, it's like Bacardi, but not Bacardi. It's Bolanachi. Okay. So here we go. Next with Bolanachi. Nice pour from my friend Osama. Okay. I do like rum. I don't generally drink rum straight. I like it in tiki drinks, and they do actually make a Mai Tai on board here, right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 
That's a good rum. That's a. That, uh, I, I did sweet, not. Yeah. I did not expect to actually think that Egyptian spirits would be good. Uh, like, because the problem is, and correct me if I'm wrong. Like, when you bring in the foreign spirits, they have to cost a lot more. That's sweet, and, that's okay. No, I know, but I'm saying when you bring in like Jack Daniels or something uh, like that, uh, it's why it costs a lot more. Is because uh, you have to pay the import taxes, right? If it's made in Egypt, it's not as much. So this is a vodka, right? Vodka. ID vodka, three times distilled. We're almost halfway through this, um, which could be a good or a bad thing. All right. Again, doing this in real time, no cuts. I'm gonna have, this is not vodka, this is bubbly water. Okay. I have the taste of the rum out of my mouth, that's the goal. This is straight triple distilled vodka. A lot of people nowadays don't want to drink the Russian vodka due to Ukraine and everything like that, but I, I drink any vodka, so. Okay, it smells strong. It smells like vodka. Wow, again, it's, it's actually really good. Now I last ate about two and a half or so hours ago. Uh, so just giving you a metric, uh, we're gonna stop the clock 20 minutes after we finish this drink and we're gonna see where we want after we finish the sixth drink, which will really be eight because I had two beers before this. Okay, the end got strong. All right, ooh, ooh. Party foul. <laughs> All right. Give me a minute. So you don't drink, right? Because is is it religion or you just choose not to? You just choose not to. Okay. What's the next one? Black rhino. And that's made in Egypt, right? Seems like something that would be made in. Uh, like South Africa or something like that. But. Do guests like a lot of these drinks, the passengers on board? And do they know, these are big brands, right? These are, is this a big brand all across Egypt? Across these. Egypt, yeah. So, Black exactly. Rhino, a special blend. Now, one of my last river cruises I took, actually the last river cruise I took, um, was in the Mississippi River. Well, two river cruises going. That is literally the area of whiskeys and the area of, oh. Yeah, that's hitting. That's hitting. Give me a second. Now, we're not gonna go to Jim Max. We're gonna do a test. Now, this is a very unscientific test. Not yet. Not yet, Osama. Um, we're going to try it. Now, you're supposed to wait 20 minutes after you drink to do this. But I don't like following instructions. Oh, look. And now, now, now I'm on the cruising review video doing this. Uh, so say hi to YouTube. Say hi to cruising review guy. Oh, my God. Look, it's an epic camera battle. I have a tiny camera. He has a big camera. I'm not sure who's going to win. <laughs> My camera's super steady without needing optical image stabilization because it has physical image stabilization. Okay. Okay, it got angry. Ang no blow detected. That's what the late. That's what I say to the ladies sometimes too. Is uh, no blow detected. Uh, that was a dark, dark, dirty joke. But that's what happens when you, uh, when you do say. Okay, five, four. four. So this is not accurate. This is actually gonna show a lot higher than reality uh, because I still have the alcohol in my mouth. You're supposed to wait about 20 minutes after your last drink in order to do something like this. <laughs> I should be dead. 0.027, uh, that's, it's not real, it's not real. No, 0 0.027, it says 18 hours and 28 minutes until sober. <laughs> that's not real. Likely experience major memory loss 
that's that's why you recorded you may now require assistance <laughs> walking thank you for judging me blood alcohol meter that's very rude of you um and what are we going with next so this is another company right so we chose one per company so this is butler's gin another egyptian gin right there all right i'm gonna take another sip of my water oh all right butler's gin Sorry, I wasn't turned towards me, but I mean, you could obviously tell from the blood alcohol level that I can't walk and I probably need medical assistance, but. All right. You know, I five alcohol so far. I like to drink them straight because if you drink them straight, you taste the full flavor. If you drink them in a mixer, which I can have any of these in a mixer, and it's, uh, it's, uh, they're actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know how the headache's gonna turn out. Um, yeah, I hate gin. Uh, that was Kachin. Now, the last one we're gonna go with Ozo. is Uzo, yeah. which has anise in it, anise. Uh, which is what's in black licorice. I will tell you, I'm generally not a fan of anise and a fan of black licorice, but when he said he has Uzo, oh, when he said he has Uzo, oh, he's giving me, he's like, oh, oh, Richie's sweating. If you notice, I'm wearing my, I changed my shirt to the um, martini glass shirt, because that's a good drinking shirt. Uh, we're usually a Hawaiian shirt brothers from other mothers. Do you wear Hawaiian shirts when you're on vacation yeah, or no? Do you like Hawaiian shirts? Yeah. Do you wear them on, is, can I feel, is that light shirt? Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. That sucks. Yeah, it's yeah, terrible. It's so that's a terrible shirt. Ah. He, he's got a great looking shirt on, but it's amazing. The, the only other bar people, so on the, ah. on the I'm, I'm stalling for time before I do the Uzo. The only other bar that uh, I've been to that they wear Hawaiian shirts, there's a tiki bar that's oh. on the, because uh, you only make one tiki drink, right? The Mai Tai. Ah, Mai Tai. Is that the, that's the one you make here. Ah. Uh, and I'm gonna have to try one of those, but <laughs> probably not right now. So this last one is Anise. Not a fan of Anise. All right, that's that alcohol there. That's literally just me and not being fans of Anise. All right, I'll have my one more of these. Okay. Because I wanna have a full bottle of water. I'm gonna blow right now, and then I'm gonna set a Siri timer. Thank you. Here's what I'm going to say. None of these were actually bad. I, 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 I'm incredibly surprised. Now, I don't think legally speaking, you can actually make Egyptian tequila. I don't think, no, but I don't think that's a thing because uh, tequila has to be made in a certain region of Mexico. Uh, Mexico. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. The, you have what? You have real tequila, right? What's the real tequila you have? That's, I don't want the real tequila, but that is, uh, hold on, let's see. Oh, that's actually from Mexico. Yeah. But the, the one here, the Malvado is made in uh, Egypt. Egypt. Do they get agave, do you, do, you don't know much about liquor, you know, do they get agave from Mexico or wow. they, they do all that? So uh, what we're gonna do, let's, uh, let's see if we're dead once more because uh, that's always useful. Six, five, and see what message it gives us. Oh God, the burps, the burps are coming. Let's see, 0.16. Now again, uh, it's gonna, oh, is it gonna shame me? Zero line, 11 hours and 15 minutes until sober. Now yell at me. You may soon experience 
nausea and feelings of melancholy. I, I, I didn't expect this thing to like give me a lesson on life, but here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I have to uh, wait 20 minutes to get an actual reading. So uh, we, we've been bullshitting for a few minutes. So, hey Siri, set 18 minute timer. All right, so it is right now 5.35 p.m. Egyptian time, and I have a timer going 17 minutes and 47 sec, 40, 45, 44, 43 in the future. What I'm gonna do right now is uh, show you the other side of the Nile River because uh, we went out one side, we're gonna go out this side, actually, yeah. And, uh, you know, see if we go for Niles and Niles and Niles. And I'll be back to you in uh, 17 minutes and 23 seconds to uh, find our real results right here. Let's, uh, let's, let's go out to the sun deck for a bit because it's, it's finally starting to cool down and uh, see what we get for our, real, our results. But I'll tell you, those... Uh, those six drinks were actually really really good and to give you an idea just in the in the scheme of things uh you've got a uh russian drink the 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 russian vodka is uh less than half the price oh. the russian vodka sorry my my device got weird my the russian vodka is less than half the price on board of traditional vodka so uh could be a good value again 16 minutes and 28 seconds to 16 minutes and 28 seconds to go and 21 seconds to go and i'll be back with you to see uh what advice this actually gives me all right so we've got uh four three two one gonna get angry I just like to show people I don't lie to people uh, come on stop the inside of my finger is not electrically conductive or something okay so it is 5 53 p.m. and it's time to uh, finish what we're doing here so it is warming up All right, so let's see where we're at. Uh, this is gonna be uh, 20 minutes after I follow the rules of the breathalyzer. Let's see where we're at, come on, come on, calculating. 0 0.07. So this is a much more accurate breathalyzer than the last time I did things. Um, uh, five hours and 16 minutes until sober. And it says, your balance, speech, vision, and reaction time may be impaired we call that no shit sherlock but the real reality of all this is egypt knows how to actually make spirits uh and if you do happen to be on the ms mayfair or mayfair cruises or any of the other 350 river cruises that are all battling to get lock space right now because if we don't get lock space for here till midnight that are overtaking each other and being attacked by pirates and yeah i mean that's i mean by pirates i mean people trying to sell you crap because um, <laughs> that happens all the time um yeah it's good liquor uh so this is richard from no pants profits and my buddy, come on, Osama, look, look up. Friends. And my buddy, Osama, from where are you yeah, from? You're from Egypt. Egypt. Where are you from in Egypt? Luxor. You're from Luxor? Yeah. So you live near uh, where we get on the boat? Mm. Yeah. You go home every seven, embarkation seven, day? Seven years here in this boat. On this boat? Because this boat's like 11 years old, right? So you've been yeah. seven years. Yeah. Uh, so it is Richard yeah, and cool. Osama, both wearing Hawaiian shirts, <laughs> reminding you <laughs> that when you wear no pants like me, well, I'm wearing shorts right now, so <laughs> when you wear no pants like me, uh, there's only one thing you got left to lose. And if some don't know it yet, but the, what, what, what do you have to lose when you wear no pants? 
If you're not wearing pants, right, and you're wearing a shirt, shirt what's shirt. left? All you have left to lose is what? Uh, is your shirt when you're wearing yeah. no pants, right? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> when you're wearing no pants, you only got one thing left to lose, and that's your shirt. Richard coming to you from the MS Mayfair. Uh, that's sailing on the Nile River. Saying, uh, and the, the spirits are really, actually, really freaking good in Egypt. And have a great one. Bye. <laughs>